good morning let's see fix that up i am still in downtown savannah georgia but i am getting ready to head out uh my um meter had ran out and my free parking from eight at night to eight in the morning is done it is 807 and i want to leave i don't want to pay anymore um it's raining pretty bad so today is not going to be a travel day today is going to be a hunker down day get some video editing done relax watch a movie kind of fast uh during the day but at night i'm going to be cooking something i'm going to see what i have in my fridge i kind of want a steak but i don't want to buy a steak if i still have stuff that i need to cook that's going to go bad but um, if the stuff that I have in my fridge uh, will last me until, you know, will be good for another couple days, then I might go to a grocery store and get a nice steak and just make a steak. That's what I'm craving. A uh, steak with hot honey sauce. Ooh. But anyways, that's for later today, if that does happen. But right now on iOverlander, um, iOverlander's clutch. Uh, I want to thank anybody out there who has contributed to iOverlander. Uh, when I start really, really traveling full time and finding some hidden gems or coves, I might, I, you know, I might contribute to iOverlander. I need to figure out how to do it. But anyways, uh, iOverlander, there is a Planet Fitness about 15 minutes away from downtown uh, historic Savannah. And, um... If they said that if you park just right, there's, you know, free Wi-Fi with the McDonald's right there. And uh, I'm going to go to Planet Fitness, get a shower, work out, edit the video using the free Wi-Fi, watch some movies, and just kind of decompress and uh, relax. We're not going anywhere today, as it's going to be raining all day long. So, let's get out of here. travel on the road be a nomad live on the road there's it's it's easy it's really not that difficult sometimes it can be a little stressful trying to find places to sleep or places to kind of hang out but you can always stick to the basics right planet fitness um go to iOverlander or other apps that'll tell you hey this is what worked for us uh pilots bunkies loves gas stations places that are open 24 hours so typically you could stay at like um uh, home depot or lowe's i've stayed at lowe's parking lot when i was in michigan um you can stay you know it's not that difficult don't don't make it something more than what it is uh, you got uh sam's club and costco's you can do that um you know let's not make it too difficult So now we're just gonna chill here and uh, get some work done uh, after my workout session and my shower 
and then um, go. It is currently still raining and uh, I just finished my workout, my shower. I feel amazing. Um, so right now, I found a laundromat about a mile away from Planet Fitness and we're gonna go to the laundromat and I'm gonna get some laundry done. I need to do laundry. And um, yeah, and while I'm at the laundromat, I can uh, do some editing and uh, mapping out my itinerary. I've been watching, um, his name is Ryan Hall, y'all. I finally remembered his name and I've been watching his forecast and to those of you who were in my comment section uh, recommending him to me as far as weather and helping me with travel thank you so much because he has definitely uh, helped me in the way that I travel um, that's why um, uh, one of the reasons why I left uh, South Carolina because uh, it was gonna be raining a lot and I didn't know when it was gonna stop so I was like I'm heading to Georgia Savannah and Savannah Georgia and I want to just hang out here so um, yeah so right now uh, there is a mcdonald's i'm thinking about getting a coffee i'm not hungry right now so i'm not going to eat anything um but i think i'm gonna get a coffee from mcdonald's and then we're gonna go to the laundromat do laundry and i'm gonna work on my itinerary and when i say itinerary i'm just gonna work on uh spots that i can stay in florida like cities different spots like crackle barrel uh look at i overlander planet that way um hotels um planet fitnesses so I can get my shower things like that and I even take a look at some of these uh, campgrounds I, I'm almost certain there's not gonna be anything available and speaking of campgrounds I do get the question well you were prior military you're a veteran why not stay at these military campgrounds because I can't uh, the military campgrounds are for current military personnel and retired uh, military uh, personnel it is not for veterans so I can't I don't qualify to stay at military campgrounds um, from what I've researched online. Now, if you know of any campgrounds in any of these southern states or uh, western states or anything like that, anywhere that uh, will allow, you know, veterans to camp there, please feel free to drop it in the comment box down below and I'll definitely check it out. All right, I'm talking too much. I'll see you guys when I get to the laundromat. Currently getting gas and it's raining cats and dogs. Check this out. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Welcome to Georgia. Yeah. It's 3.24 a gallon. Not bad. So I'm gonna fill up probably grab like an energy drink or something and then um, I'll see you guys when I'm, at the, when I'm at the laundromat. I'll see you guys in a bit. So this is new. You get, you buy a card 
um, and then you use this card to pay for your laundry or you can use cash. I don't have cash, so I use my card to buy a card and you put however much you want on it. So that's new to me. Very convenient though. so we are at Kroger um, I want to cook a steak tonight I feel like cooking a steak and um, we're gonna go in and grab a steak and uh, some butter I think I'm coming down with a, a cold I'm not feeling too uh, sexy <laughs> I'm not feeling too hot I think maybe I don't know maybe it's just because I worked out so hard on an empty stomach I'm hoping that's what it is probably we'll see um, also, I'm trying to figure out where I want to sleep tonight. Uh, I saw an aisle overlander that Planet Fitness, the 24 hour Planet Fitness, which is about mm, five minutes away from here, is um, a really good spot to, to sleep at, very safe. But I also kind of like, uh, uh, I also liked stealth camping in a historic uh, uh, downtown Savannah. I really truly liked it. I felt really safe. I liked the the atmosphere, like being exposed, just being in the middle of the thick of things, because uh, that that uh, downtown is very quaint, very just home homey, very uh, wholesome. <sighs> but it's raining, and I don't know if I want to deal with all that. So I am. Hold on one second. Oh, cover that up wide open so I am currently at Planet Fitness uh, and um, in Savannah Georgia and uh, I like the parking lot it's fine um, I got a couple I got a couple truckers in the back behind me and then some other vehicles around um, not all the lights work but I did check uh, take a look outside but and the parking lot is well lit but not all of them are the lights work but the lights that are working keeps the parking lot well lit which is fine you know i feel comfortable so far so good i am parked directly under a street light um directly in front of me is planet fitness um and it is 24 hours so hopefully there'll be uh you know cars in the parking lot it doesn't have to be a lot but it just feels good to have other cars. I don't want to be in some like desolate, empty parking lot. Um, after I went grocery shopping, I just kind of laid down. Um, I've been a little exhausted, um, in a good way. I am in no way complaining. I am completely blessed and grateful for the life that I live, but you know, I've just been driving a lot. Um, uh, between states and stuff like that and trying to just see as much as I possibly can before I make my way down to Florida uh, to take care of business but I'm loving it so far um, I wanted to go down and sleep uh, in downtown Savannah uh, again but I I decided uh, that honestly the traffic was so horrendous trying to get down there I just came to Planet Fitness instead um, I haven't eaten yet I am marinating some steak I'm just gonna make a steak bowl rice steak and some veggies so either my either my coleslaw mix or I have a zucchini squash which I think I'll make the squash I think that'll go really well with it so I took some time to kind of clean my van sweep it out uh, wipe everything down just I just felt like you know I've been traveling so much I haven't had really any time to kind of keep up with keeping my van the way that I like it so I feel a little better on that but yeah um, I'm gonna take a take you guys outside and show you what it's looking like and then um, I'm gonna chill for about another hour and then uh, I'm gonna make some dinner so let's go outside and see what it's looking like let's turn these lights off first of all we don't want to be uh, seen like that all right let's go outside make sure no one's out there yeah we look all right we're good Step out.
So this is where I'm at. I'll show you the parking lot and uh, yeah, let's go. So if you can see, there's Planet Fitness, well lit. Um, this is the parking lot that I'm in. We got a few cars. That light doesn't work, but that's fine. Um, so I'm about to show you. The light up there works. And then if you go around, you've got lights and stuff. So this is where I'm parked. Let's head back in. Let's shut the door. This is just steak marinated in teriyaki sauce for over, I probably marinated this for over uh, at least two hours at, at a minimum. So we're going to let that cook. And I just used some um, chili infused olive oil to cook this steak. I forgot the butter. So we're going to let this cook. This is what we're looking at right there. Now we're going to use this this juice. This is um, the juice from the steak and the teriyaki sauce. And then the juice from the um, uh, chili infused olive oil. Or olive oil infused with chili. I'm just going to let that cook. And then we eat. Here is the finished results. Steak bowl. Um, this is steak marinated in teriyaki sauce for over two hours. Um, I cut up some sweet peppers, bell peppers, red, um, green or red, orange, and yellow. And then jasmine rice that I cooked in the teriyaki sauce and stuff that was left. And then I cooked the steak in. Um, in an olive oil that was infused with chili. Mm. So this is a teriyaki steak bowl. Have that bite right there. The steak is so tender. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I got enough left for tomorrow. <clears throat> I might cook up what's left and add to it. This steak is so good. I should have bought two of these steaks. I like the steak shredded like this. This is it's got it's got a, a nice amount of like beef and fat. It is so good. Mmm. This is so good. I like my steak this way better than, I mean, I like an actual steak, but I think this is way is better because it cooks faster, it cooks easier. And this definitely has a kick because that um, olive oil 
infused with chili is really it's it's hot it's got a kick these peppers oh man they're so good <clears throat> i you know what and i know y'all are not gonna agree with me and you're like what ew I would take that steak mixture that I made, that steak uh, marinated in teriyaki sauce cooked with these peppers and throw that over some um, some oats. I would cook my oats in the better than beef bouillon and then I would throw that steak and um, peppers on top of that. Oh man, that'd be good. Mm, mm-mm. <clears throat> oh this is spicy <clears throat> my eyes are watering Ooh. um i really like <clears throat> savannah uh georgia i really um enjoyed my time down at that um riverfront i wanted to see um like the uh more of the <clears throat> city of savannah but it was just raining today but i don't know what's on the agenda for tomorrow <clears throat> that's the beauty of it of me and my journey and how i travel you know i do do an itinerary to where you know i just go to the state you know have an idea of where i want to visit and then as far as where I'm gonna sleep for the night, I prepare in my mind that no matter what research I did, I might have to switch it up. It may not be a good spot for me. So. Tomorrow, I can't say for, for sure what I'm gonna do. You guys will just have to wait for that video to come out. I have an idea, but I don't want to say nothing, just in case I change my mind. Mm. This steak is so tender. I don't like to cook it all the way through because it makes it it makes it really tough. Today was just a, a lazy, chill day. Um not all my travel days are going to be exciting and awesome there'll be days where the weather is not going to permit or allow me to do the things that i want to do such as today and i'm okay with that um it was nice just to relax mm, mm -mm. I have that bite right there. The peppers and rice and steak. Mm. Mm. This is the teriyaki sauce that I used to marinate my steak in. Hands down the best teriyaki sauce I have ever tasted, I have ever had. Best. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because I may do some traveling tomorrow. I'm not sure. But in the event that I do, I want to get plenty of rest. <clears throat> um, like I said, today wasn't, it was just uh, getting things done, like doing laundry because my laundry was piling up, cleaning, you know, my van a little bit because I just felt like I had like beach sand and just, it wasn't up to my standards. Um, going to the gym, working out, getting a shower, you know, figuring out where I was going to sleep. You know, today was just um, a, a regular average day. Um, you know, like I said, all my travel days are not going to be fun and exciting, but that's okay. That's that's the beauty of living in a van. That's just, that's life. And, I, and I'm, I'm okay with it. But like I said, I have an idea of what I want to do tomorrow, but I'm, I, I'm, I don't want to say just yet, just in case I change my mind. But... I'm gonna go ahead and head out so I can get some rest, just in case I decide to hit the road. 
But I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today on this chill, kind of lazy day of just getting laundry uh, done and getting stuff done. Um, this steak is it's so freaking good. I have a little bit left. More than likely, I'll cook that up tomorrow. Mmm. And I'll add it to this. But... I just want to thank you guys for being awesome. Um, I definitely, I definitely appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, thanks for taking uh, time out of your day to hang out with me, have dinner with me, have a little chat, have a little talk. But I wonder what, what's in store for tomorrow? Hmm. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, guys, I'm gone. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.